You're looking for a smooth bottom. You've come to the right place. In this video, we're going to show you how to get the bottom of the inserts that you cut with shadow foam as smooth as possible. And in this video, we're going to show you the best three methods to do that. Hi guys, it's Jonathan here back at Shadow Foam and today we're looking at the smoothing of the bottom of the inserts that you cut and we've got three really great ways to get the bottom of the inserts as smooth as possible. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut these two impact drivers and then this half inch impact driver into this orange 50mm insert and if you're new around here, Shadow Foam is a cut and peel grade of foam, makes it dead easy to organise tools and equipment. All you have to do is place the item where you want it to go and then cut round it with one of our scalpels which comes in our cutting kits. So we just place the item where we want it to go, we cut around it and we peel back layers but we won't go into that. If you want to see exactly how to cut shadow foam check back on the channel. We're doing videos on cutting shadow foam every single week so we've got loads you can go and click and have a watch. And before you dive in make sure you've got your anti-cut gloves on. Today I'm sporting our brand new shadow foam branded anti-cut gloves. We've been waiting for a while for these but now all cutting kits that include anti-cut gloves will be coming with our brand new shadow foam custom branded gloves. These are anti-cut, they're great, they fit really nicely and they're the thinnest material you can get that is anti-cut and it's going to be resistant to this scalpel blade. So without further ado let's get this insert cut. Right, so we've cut all three of the impact drivers in and we've cut them in at two levels. So the battery holder and then this kind of meatier bit at the top of the drill, we've cut in deeper. So you can see there, we've kind of got the drills sat. So they're all nice and flush, but the bottom of each of the inserts have just been peeled out by hand. So they're pretty good. And to me, on most of our projects, that's good enough. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I usually leave it there because I'm not too precious about having it perfectly flat. However, this video is about a smooth bottom and we do know that some of you are asking us how do you get it like a machine finish, how do you get it really really good. So that's what we're going to show you and the first method is to go back with the knife and to just trim. Now you can use the knife sideways essentially, you can either take the blade off, use a pair of pliers to do this or you can just hold it flat to the base of the foam and you can use it to just skim across and you can take a few of the lumps and bumps off with the knife. Now that is the easiest way and the cheapest way. Well it's not the easiest way because the easiest way is actually coming up. This is the cheapest way. You don't need any extra tools, any extra equipment. You can use it just with the blade, just with the knife. You can also take the blade off and just pinch it, pinch it with your fingers and just skim across the bottom and you can just take off any lumps and bumps, any ridges, anything that's making it not look please into the eye, not look smooth. So that's a really nice technique. The second method is with our brand new smoothing spinners. Now these are only cheap, they're $6.99 on the website. We have a little packet of two, there's an 18mm and a 25mm, and what they are is a little spinning disc with a quarter inch bit adapter. So these can go into any standard combi drill, any rotary tool, they will fit in some Dremels, they just click inside, and literally, because it's flat on the bottom, but it's got this really thin plastic edge, I'll put the big one on. The big one. You can use these to skim along the bottom of the cut, and it makes light work of smoothing out the insert. So this is the easiest method. This is really, really quick and easy, and it's still very, very cost effective. None of the kits and accessories that we sell on shadowfoam.com are expensive at all. We're passing them on to you at not far off cost price because what we want to do is make it as easy as possible for you to get a really good finish that you're happy with. And the third and final way is our brand new hot foam smoother. Now these again, it's a little bit more expensive than spinners but these are still only $19.99 and they're a very simple little bit of kit. They are essentially like a soldering iron, except for this is a slightly higher wattage than most uh, soldering irons. This is a 30 watt mains powered little hot foam smoother. Now it comes with uh, these little brass attachments that screw in the end. We've got the disc, which is the main one we'll be using, but it also comes with like a little, uh, a little stand so you can put it down without it burning something. And you've also got a brass point and then like a little brass shovel shape. Now they just screw into the end. And these are exactly as you would expect. The disc gets really hot, so be careful. And you can use it to literally just smooth out the foam. It's a very, very simple process. It works really, really effectively. 
almost too effectively. You've got to go a little bit careful with it because you can melt the plastic really quickly. So when it comes to using the hot foam smoother, a couple of things you want to be aware of. You want to make sure you're in a well ventilated area. We've got good extraction in here and also make sure you don't put it back in the box when it's hot. It is red hot, you want to use the stand and you're being really careful when you put it back in the box. You're waiting for it to fully cool down. So they are the best three methods to get a smooth bottom and I really hope that helps or at least one of these methods is going to help you. We've got the way you can do it with the scalpel, so there's no cost involved in that. You're just using the scalpel that comes in our cutting kits in a slightly different way. We've got the foam spinners. Again, these are a really cheap option, but they're really effective. I love them. These are my personal favorite way of smoothing out the bottom. I just get one of the foam smoothers, get it in an impact drill, and it makes light work of it. So they're great. But if you're not feeling super confident with these, or you want, you've got maybe some really detailed work and you can't get the foam smooth and spin it in, or maybe you don't have an impact driver, the hot foam smoother is another perfect option. Still quite a low cost. You know, you pay more than 20 quid for a soldering iron. So this is 19.99 on shadowfoam.com. It comes with everything you need to get started straight away. You just plug it in and go, and you can get really smooth bottoms with that too. So I hope this video helped. If you want one of these, maybe it's the hot smoother or it's the smoothing spinners, you can go to shadowfoam.com and pick these up. They're also available on Amazon and there's links in the description. And we're also giving one of each of these away to one commenter on this video. So all you've got to do is just drop a little comment below. Let us know which project, which shadow foam project you've done that you'd like to try these out on. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. So it's as simple as that. We'll be picking one of the winners out of the comment section at the end of this month and we'll shoot you a message and get some of these in the post to you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already and we'll see you next time. Do you need a smooth bottom? I think that's what we need to start with. So, you're looking for a smooth bottom. <laughs> We're going to be showing you how... <laughs> I, uh, I will smooth the bottom, I will smooth your bottom. You bring it here, I'll smooth it. <laughs> right. Are you looking for a smooth... <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like that video, why not check out some of our others? We've got new videos coming out every week. And Colin Furs, what's the quickest way for people to see these videos? That's Subscribe. It.